I'm going to do a video real fast, and this concept is something that I wish I, <clears throat> I was trying to pull off years ago. I was trying to get private lenders to back me um, when it came to the bubble bursting and the issues that we faced in California back in 08, 09, and on. And what was happening was this. There was a ton of people that were trying to get pre-qualified or trying to get qualified for these things called loan modifications. And what that is pretty much is a restructuring of your loan to make it affordable so that you can go ahead and make payments and bring the payment current and that type of thing. Well, there were, for the number of people who paid to get in these programs, uh, what the people that were doing the loan mods, which is short for loan modification, what they were doing was they knew that not everybody was going to qualify, but guess what? Everybody paid. Everybody paid a, typically a fee up front in order to get modified, okay? There's a lot of people who made a lot of money doing that, but there was a hole that was missing. And that issue was um, the concept that I want to talk about today. You had a lot of people losing equity <clears throat> in their properties. Um, their loans were upside down. Properties pretty much the values were turning to crap and so you really couldn't do anything with a lot of those deals however once the dust settled and now it being 2017 um, and beyond getting ready to head into 2018 I want to talk to you about a concept many of you have your investors and some of you are not even investors. Some of you are just got a lot of money to invest, whether that's be retirement income, uh, money that you have in the bank, money that you've inherited, uh, just lots of money that is out there. And oftentimes people are not making the returns that they could be making. So I'm going to encourage many of you to become a foreclosure investor. This is what I mean by that. Let's say, for instance, you have someone who has a lot of equity within their property and they've just fallen on hard times. Job loss, they got sick, whatever the case may be. And they've fallen two months behind on payment, but they got a ton of equity in the property. So let me give you some numbers. Let's say, for instance, they got a $30,000 loan on a property that's worth $300,000. I know it's crazy, but it happens every day all over the country. There's a ton of people in this situation, too. And they can't refi because they lost their job, even though they have a lot of equity. There are lenders that will take them, but these lenders lots of times can be loan sharks, that type of thing. Even though they have a ton of equity, they're just not able to go ahead and pull off the deal. And so I want to encourage many of you that just have money laying around um, and to look at real estate from a different perspective. And that is really from a private lending perspective. In other words, let's take that scenario. And so they're two, two and a half months behind. Property's about to foreclose. And um, so how would you how would you help somebody in that situation? Well, you, number one, um, give them. Obviously, you would go ahead and negotiate with the bank. Um, go ahead and pay that loan current. Get the property current. Preferably, what you want to do is put yourself in first position. You want to have property with little or no mortgage. Properties that have a ton of equity. Okay? Just in case they default. Because if they default and you're in first position and you're the lender, they're prim you're the primary lender on that property, you get to foreclose on that property, <laughs> that's really not a problem. <laughs> and, and actually, there are some people that are banking on that. But be that as it may, you become a private lender 
that helps people in foreclosure. So let's say, for instance, take that scenario. They're behind. Let's hypothetically say, let's just say five grand in fees and penalties and all this other stuff. And so what you do is you structure a note. You bring along current. You put yourself as um, owner of, of that property because you have a note that, a, in other words, you put a lien against that property. And until that property is paid in full, excuse me, until that particular lien is paid in full, you still have an interest in that property. So let's say, for instance, that note, you go ahead, you pay 5000 but you don't want the whole 5000 back because they're going to pay you monthly like they're going to pay that mortgage. Hopefully they pay that mortgage, right? And so um, you can structure that deal, and that $5,000 deal. Let's say, for instance, you take $500 down. Let's say you take $300 down and you take, I don't know, $300 a month for, I don't know, three years, four years. Look at the return on investment on something like that. What type of returns are you getting in the, with your 401k? The reason I come up with this concept is I remember working for a real estate office that was also affiliated with a lending office. There were a lot of people who made a lot of money um, during the whole subprime fiasco. And what happened was, as opposed to putting their money in the bank or a 401k or some type of stock or whatever it was, they became private lenders. They would lend their money because they were making 30, 40, 50 grand a month, 20 grand a month, 25,000, whatever it was. They'd be like, you know, okay, you know, because if this person forecloses or if they lose their property, guess what? You're in a position to get that property from now. Obviously, your objective is not to go ahead and steal the property. Your objective is to go ahead and make a nice return on five thousand dollars. Right. This concept works great for people who are falling victim to tax foreclosure who have properties that are free and clear. This property, this this concept works great for people who have code violations against their properties that have a ton of equity and no loan against the property. You go ahead, you pay the back taxes on the property or you pay for the code violation. You slap a lien against the property. You structure a monthly payment. If they miss payments, you can foreclose. You can push for foreclosure. If they don't want the property, property becomes yours.